Hey RC fans on YouTube, in this video I will show you how to set up and install the new Bluetooth device from DAS Micro or DAS Micro for controlling your RC car or RC crawler or micro RC car uh, with, uh, with your smartphone using the Android app Roboremo. This device is available for several months now, but installing and installation and setting up is not that easy. Many people, including me, had a lot of problems. Um, I the device is called a DAS or DAS Micro Bluetooth All-in-One 8-Channel RC Receiver for Micro Crawler. And you can buy it from Banggood and maybe or probably some other sources. Mm, it's available for several months now. On Banggood website you can also download two free interfaces for being used with the Roboremo software and the Roboremo you can download in the Adri Android web store. You can download a free version and a paid version. The paid version uh, was for me around 8 euros at the time I made this video. I tried to use uh, the interfaces uh, provided by Banggood for free uh, with the free Roboremo version. In the beginning I tried to use the free version and thought okay if it's very cool stuff you, ca you can only use five channels with the th free version. I will upgrade and pay but it did not work. Uh, I was not able to set up a uh, own interface. It's not that easy probably for people who are not good in this. and the free version, the free Roboremo did not work with the interfaces provided by Banggood. I didn't know what to do anymore. I tried and tried for several weeks and then a guy in a forum told me he had exactly the same problem and then he upgraded for the paid version of Roboremo and then the interfaces worked. And I did this too then after several weeks and immediately the interfaces provided by Banggood worked. So probably the interfaces un do not work with the free version and I'm not uh, sure and I can't tell you uh, if the receiver will work with the free version if you are able to set up an own, a new own interface for five channels maybe probably it will work uh, but it I was not able to do it if you buy the receiver from Banggood you see you get a lot of stuff with it uh, you get the receiver unit and you get a lot of LED, SMD LED lights and you get uh, resistors and wires and plugs um, and uh, it, it's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, you won't need everything for setting up your car but it's, it's really cool. You get a lot. If it would have worked easier it would have even been cooler. First thing you have to will have to do is uh, to bind the device with your to couple it to your smartphone as you do with every Bluetooth earphones or loudspeakers. It's called HC06. The device I gave it already a name Orlando here. The code you have to enter is one two three four. That's easy. Of course, you have to download the Roboremo software from the Android App Store. As already mentioned, the free version did not work for me, so then I downloaded the paid version and paid for it, 8 euros around, 8 euros, and then everything worked. Roboremo will create a folder in your smartphone storage. As you see here, in my smartphone, it has created this uh, folder in the internal storage, not in the, on the, in the SD card. And here is uh, the folder called Roboremo and if you open it then or bef you have to download or you can download uh, the two interfaces provided by game Banggood for free. They are called Crawler01 and Crawler02 and Roboremo will store those uh, interfaces in the Roboremo order in your smartphone. Crawler 1 and Crawler 2 and check here there was another problem I had when I downloaded uh, those uh, free interfaces for the first times uh, the, the, they only had around they had one kilobyte I guess 
in the order and it didn't work if I tried to open those uh, interfaces with Roboremo software there was an error message I downloaded those uh, free interfaces from Banggood several times and after some times they worked you see uh, those two uh, crawler 1 and crawler 2 have 3 and 6 several kilobytes so if you have also uh, those files with only one kilobyte there uh, and a uh, problem has occurred you have to retry it after some times after some time after several tries it worked for me here you can see a large picture of the device of the rx uh, with the wires already soldered and there was also a problem there is a picture on the internet somewhere where it's uh, labeled incorrectly plus and minus for for the power source are labeled incorrectly and uh, several people had problems and if you solder those incorrectly you will destroy the device you see as it is uh, here I made it correct so here is a picture uh, with correct labeling so the black the minus the G and D you have to solder this wire which is coming from the battery to this position near the servo plugs and the plus the red the VCC is on the upper position and then there are the two wires for the on off switch and the two wires for the motor which are no problems then there is a further problem I had on the right side the black small plugs are the plugs for the LEDs for the lights it's really cool you can switch on off front lights um, you have turning lights and uh, you have two strength of the front light and you have a further plug for a light bar which is uh, also comes with the set and uh, on the picture shown as manual those uh, the polarity for the LEDs for the front and rear light for and for the right and left turning light in my opinion they are also labeled incorrectly because they show VCC red on the outer side of the of the device and the black minus G and D on the inner side uh, this did not work for me my um, my LEDs and switches then did not work and as soon as I changed plus and minus everything worked. The good thing is in LEDs if you plug them in with wrong polarity they won't work but they won't dam there will not be any damage so nothing will be damaged not the LEDs and uh, not the VRX but uh, in the plug for the light bar you see it in the center here the plus VCC red is on the outside and this plug uh, provides 5 volt so take care you have to use uh, resistors f uh, depending on what lights you will use or what LEDs you have you will have to use resistors a further problem not really a problem but I saw a video on YouTube it, I guess it was in a channel called micro C world and the guy tried to set up uh, the the Bluetooth RX with his Orlando and with his cell phone a smartphone and it didn't work but he made a simple mistake he used uh, the micro switch provided with the set and he soldered the wires to the two outer pins the, uh, this uh, this switch has three pins I have cut off the pin I do not need and correctly you have to solder one wire to the center pin and the other wire to one of the outer pins and then the switch will work You see a device opened. I uh, show you how to import an interface provided by Banggood now. You go to import and then you choose one of the two. And then it will show up on your screen. But uh, when I did this now, I did it from a further interface I did already adapt to my needs. Then you will lose this. So you will see now if I go back to menu interface you can go to select and the first interface I had already adapted I have lost so and you can adjust those interfaces 
as you want you see here I turned the steering to the right and I made a throttle to the left and then you have two further servo tabs here I put them to the upper side and they will um, give signal to the channel 3 and 4 plugs on the RX. I don't know what to do with those servos in, in the Orlando Jeep. I use this RX. And here you have an interface more in the beginning. I didn't adjust a lot in this, but the steering is already in the vertical position. The turning lights are linked to the steering in this position now. And if you want to change the interface, you go to menu, just GUI, and then you can make it larger, smaller, and turn. You have to try a little bit, it's not that easy. Uh, this is uh, the tab for the steering, it will auto center. So then uh, you have it as you want it. I go to back, and then it works. And you see here now you have to look to the front of the side, the servo is going to the wrong direction. So you can go to adjust GUI again and then you can change the servo direction by setting endpoints. Uh, setting min max. So it is 1000, 2000 there and I change from 1000, 2000 to 2000, 1000. Okay, okay, go back. It won't work now because you are still. Yeah, and now it will work. And you see now, the servo goes to the right direction. Now you don't. I did make a servo reverse. The turning lights now work correctly. I did also have uh, a problem with the turning lights. You can do it uh, the same way. So here you see the interface I have adapted to my needs already and you see re right left steering in this position is connected to the turning light then front and back. Uh, this is a slider with auto centering. I removed the auto center function for, th for the throttle you see so you can do as you like. And then we have the front lights two strengths very nice and we have the emergency light this slider is for the turning lights on the left position the slider the turning lights are connected to the steering in the center position you can uh, switch right and left manually and on the right position you have the emergency light very cool and then we have the very cool light bar. I don't use the light bar provided uh, with the set. It was broken and I wouldn't have used it anyway. I made my own of the Orlando roof rack using SMD LEDs. I will show you later. And the back lights, of course, work too. You have the turning lights, right, left. And the backlight and uh, the front light has two strengths, two positions, but the backlight will uh, stay with the steam. So, emergency light, roof light, very, very nice. And here you see uh, the light bar provided with the set. Mine did not work. It I tried started with two volt, went to three volt. It didn't work. Only smoke, but I didn't use it. Didn't want to use it anyway, because I like this roof rack from uh, for the Orlando very much. Um, you can buy it. I 
I bought some from Hobby King and from our Cmart. Uh, Banggood didn't store it, didn't have it so far. And uh, the lights consist of two parts, uh, the center and a kind of cup. And I made a groove in the center, uh, put a hole, made a hole in it. And uh, in the cheap here, um, I drilled out or cut out the cup, so used only the rings. Uh, in my first one, that's the Mitsubishi, I made it a little bit different. I made only slits into the cups. Uh, the LED, the SMD LEDs sit on the main part. I made a small groove. And here I sealed the LEDs. I glued them to the main part where I made a groove and se sealed it with a kind of um, silicone glue I got from Banggood. It's this stuff. Works out nice. The first roof rack I used for my Mitsubishi, I painted it, you see it, and I did it a little bit different, but I think the version I did uh, in the Jeep, it looks better. And I, uh, this roof rack does have some pins, which you should prob probably drill holes into the roof of the car and then stick it and glue it into it. I didn't do this. You, maybe you can see those little sticks on the base here. I cut those sticks and used shugu. I used uh, the clear one, shugu, not the goop, um, to glue it <coughs> to the roof and it works perfectly. Shugu, shugu works perfectly for all this plastic or like sun body gluing stuff. It's flexible. It's it's fantastic, and uh, this roof ra uh, rack is of course for the Mitsubishi. So you see here, it will not fit fit perfectly to the Jeep, to the Orlando Jeep. And you see here, I've I, I simply cut the base. I cut the base. It fits perfectly to the Mitsubishi, but not to the Jeep. I cut the base and glued it with sugar to the roof. Looks very very good. Yeah, my final Orlando Jeep controlled with my smartphone. Only have to clean up the interior a little bit. You see, front lights, two strings, roof lights. You can dim them very, very nice. This is really, really cool. Front light low, front light high. <laughs> Emergency lights, turning light left, turning light right. Turning light connected to steering, and of course I can run it. It's better to run it with two hands. And you see, I don't, I don't like the for the steering. It's too large, so I get, I go to edit GUI and make it a little bit smaller and put it to the right side, go to back and now it's easier to use the steering to drive it. You can do it as you want of course. I like it that way. Works really really nice. Help him a little bit. 